Hey everyone, welcome to Cami Rose Yoga. Today we are going to learn a few postures that are going to help you work towards yoga splits. Now I have only been doing yoga for a couple of years, but my entire life I've never thought of myself as flexible and splits was something that I honestly didn't think I'd ever really get to because it was so excruciatingly painful in my legs and in my hips. But then all of a sudden after practicing yoga for about two years and not even aiming towards getting splits, I just tried it one time in a class and I had it. So just remember wherever you are is perfect as long as you're enjoying the journey. So you probably maybe even might be more flexible than I was when I first started yoga. But I can promise you that if you do these postures and these stretches every single day, pretty soon you'll be able to get your splits. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into pigeon pose. So pigeon pose, um, ideally you want your shin and the front lower part of your leg parallel with the front edge of your mat and then you're going to bring your other leg back so we're going to start with the right leg forward now i have some yoga blocks here so you might also want some yoga blocks or if you don't have a yoga block you can use a pillow or a blanket or something to make it more comfortable for you so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to come here and set our front leg so try to get it as parallel with the front edge of the mat as you can and then bring your left leg back Get the top of your foot on the mat and knee straight and your foot straight. So don't try to bring your foot off to the side, you might hurt your knee. And then just see how this feels. Okay, if you can come down all the way down, that's great too. Or you can also place a block and sit on a block. There's a tendency to kind of want to roll over onto your right hip and really open up the left side of your body. Try to keep that your left hip pulled towards the front and just hang out here for a little bit. You're going to make it easier for you. You can also bring your right heel closer towards your body and then just orient your hips forward. Okay, so maybe this is where you're at. Maybe you're here with your heel, heel close to your body and you're sitting on a block. But just remember, very slowly as you work, as you work and dedicate yourself to your practice, eventually, bit by bit, you're able to get to the point where your leg can be parallel, your foot's flat, and you're sitting up. You can sit up in this posture and you can really feel it through the front part of your hip, or you can also fold forward and feel the stretch in the side part of your right hip. So just play around with it a little bit, taking time, paying close attention to your body, and not causing injury, any pain in your joints or anything that's going to cause injury. If it's just discomfort in your muscles, just find that point where you can breathe, but still hold the posture. So you can practice, every day you can practice either folding forward, and feeling that stretch into sitting here for a few breaths, or also sitting up. So I'll give you a little bit, you can play around with that a little bit. And then we're going to switch over to the left side. So roll over onto your right hip. I always like to take a few downward facing dogs and a few breaths. Maybe raise my right foot up and knee, hold my hip out to the side. Bring my right foot back down and then bring my left foot up. And then forward. Okay, taking your time very gently. You know your body best, so make that mind-body connection. And listen to your body. Where does it want to go and where does it want to stop? And where can you breathe and where can you not? If you can't breathe, you've got too far. So back off just a little bit. Find out where you can breathe. Breathe through the discomfort. And then just hold it. Maybe folding forward. Always keeping your belly pulled in to protect your lower back. And breathing with your lungs in and out through your nose. And coming up and finding your way to downward facing dog or whatever feels good for you.
and then coming down onto your knees. So if you try pigeon, and just spend a few minutes on both sides every single day, pretty soon you'll be able to feel your muscles opening up, you'll be able to feel that stretch, and that will really help aid you in getting towards yoga splits. Okay, another um, practice that you can do is kind of coming into straddles. So splits, our hips are oriented to the front straddle, your hips are oriented to the side, but this also, I found, kind of helps aid in the openness of my hips. So what I want you to do is bring your feet off to the side, turn towards the long edge of your mat, and I always bring my heels close to the corner of my mat, okay, depending on how long your mat is, and how long your legs is, are, or it might work or it might not. Just try to bring this close to the mat, and then flex your feet and turn your knee caps upwards towards the ceiling. Okay, if that's enough of a stretch for you, great, you're going to stay there. Or if you'd like, just like tilt your pelvis forward and lift yourself up and come closer towards the edge of your mat. You can also use a wall. Remember, don't push and don't strain. Anything that you're pushing or straining too much is going to cause injury. So just back off, find a point where you can hold it and where you can still breathe. And maybe once you're there for a few breaths, you can come just a little bit further. That's about as far as I can go. Okay, another thing you can do is you can use a block, you can fold forward onto the block, okay, or no block, and folding forward. And breathing. Coming up very slowly, taking your time, bringing your feet together. And your knees together, shaking it out just a little bit. Good, now we're going to move on to our back. So coming onto your back, you're going to bring your right foot up towards the ceiling, flex your foot, and then cross your right foot over your left thigh. Okay, if that's enough of a stretch for you, this is kind of a reverse pigeon, so you're doing pigeon, but you're on your back. If this is enough of a stretch for you, great. You can also take a block and place a yoga block under your left foot to get a little bit more elevation. Or you can raise your left foot off the mat all the way. Reach your hands to the little window of your leg around the back of your left thigh. And just pull slightly your left knee towards your chest, reaching your right foot towards your chest. Releasing that down, both legs down long. Sitting on your back, you're just going to switch to the other side. I'm going to turn around so you can see me better. And so left foot comes up, right foot into the mat, cross your left foot over, flexing your left foot, and then you're facing a block or keeping your right foot on the mat or lifting your right foot all the way off. Just like you pull your left knee closer towards your chest, feeling that stretch, or your right knee, yeah, and feel the stretch in the left side of your hip. And releasing that, both feet down. You can kind of wiggle your feet just a little bit and then knees into your chest, rock on your spine, massage it into the ground, and then rock all the way up into seated. All right, and then from here we're just going to do a few, we're just going to approach splits from standing. So after you've done those a few times, maybe your hips feel a little bit open. Remember, hold everything for as long as you want. So I always like to hold it until I can feel a slight release and there's a little bit more ease in the posture and then I know that I've probably stretched my muscles enough. Um, but just remember, listen to your own body and do what you need. So coming to all fours, we're just going to bring our toes into the mat and take a downward facing dog. You're going to bring your right foot up towards the side and then carry your right foot in between your hands, planting your right foot in between your hands. 
Now the approach splits from standing, what you're just going to do is just slightly rock forward and rock, kind of wiggle your right foot forward until you feel that nice stretch. Your knee stays over your ankle, don't let your knee come over or past your toes. And you're pressing your left heel back. Feel that stretch, you can bring your hands on the inside. If that's difficult for you, you can just be all the way up here. And then bringing your hands back down, you're just going to wiggle your right foot more forward. Okay, flexing your right foot, you can bring your left knee down into the ground, and onto the top of your left foot, and then slowly work on straightening your right leg, wiggle a little bit more, wiggle a little bit more, wiggle a little bit more. Let it slide until you're all the way up into splits. Okay, if that's difficult for you, you can also place a block underneath your right hip, your right sit bone. There's a tendency to want to roll over to the side. Keep your left hip drawing down and forward. Okay, pull your belly in, protect your spine, and breathe. One, two, three, four, and five. Taking the block out, just rolling over onto the side. And find your way down facing dog, and we'll do the left side. Left foot up. And coming forward first. So finding your deep lunge first. Pressing your right heel back, left knee over your left ankle. You feeling that stretch in the front part of your leg, on the right side, deep in the left side. Maybe you're not low and maybe you're just up here. And then plant both of your hands, walking your left foot forward just a little bit. You bring your right knee down into the mat, right foot, top of the right foot into the mat. And then wiggle, wiggle, slide, slide, wiggle, wiggle, slide your left leg forward. Keep keeping your right hip pulled forward. And maybe once you're here, you notice that your sides are different. That's okay. Don't hate your left side more than your right or your right side more than the left. Just accept both for what they are and where they're at and accept yourself. And just enjoy the journey. Holding for five. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Rolling over onto the side. Bring your left foot back, find your downward facing dog. You move into what feels good. I don't know if you heard my head pop left in. And then bring your knees back down and come into a seated posture. So those are a few postures and a few stretches that you can do every day to work towards the yoga splits. Remember, don't force anything and don't stress anything. Just enjoy the journey. Be happy with where you are. Pay attention to the sensations and the feelings of your body in each posture and breathe. And as you breathe, you may notice that your body will begin to open up. And pretty soon, someday, you'll be able to do the splits. Thank you so much for joining. Namaste. So, yeah.